Hi guys, Fabiana here from Creative Swimwear and this week we're gonna make something different. We're gonna make this top that I'm wearing now. Hope you can see the whole thing because it's really nice and comfy to wear and so I wanted to share because I made this on using this central machine. Okay, it makes your work so much faster. So this machine has 48 needles. Okay, they are available in three models, but that's the one you have to buy if you want to make uh, clothing and that and pieces like this, just because the more needles, the better. Because you're going to need them all to make these panels. And also like uh, sleeves like that. They're wide and nice and bell sleeves I think it is and so this is one I think this is my second uh, second third thing that I made with this machine and oh my god it's like it takes it took me a day to make this this top and like if you if you knit it before if you make crochet you know how long it takes to make a top like that as you can see in the back of it as well as a full panel I think just for a panel like that it takes a day so I took a day to make the whole thing and that's why I wanted to show you and I absolutely love these sleeves how they came out so needles hooks 4.5 millimeters hook and the yarn that I used is this velvet yarn that I'm gonna leave on the description below as well Okay, this yarn, I used six rows of it. Um, one, two, three, yeah, four of these. Okay, so basically one to each panel and one to each sleeve. And um, two of these different colors just to make these granny squares on the bottom. And so I'm gonna show you how we go from knitting to crochet just to finish it off and make a nice finishing and the neckline as well here okay it's all crochet which is pretty basic crochet it's just really single crochet double crochet and slip stitch okay so let's get into it and I'll be explaining the sizes along the way as well and if you want to click on that thanks button if you want to help me buying yarn that would be awesome so let's get into it guys. Start this um, jumper. I'm going to start making a flat panel for the back and the front. They're gonna have the same size. And I'm going to use the maximum amount of hooks that I can. So just let me position this again. So to cast on we're gonna use just the simple way. Just waving in each in every second hook. So I'm gonna start on the third one because that's the first one I can use on the when I choose flat panel option. And I'm just gonna slide this through, leaving this tail to the right like this, and then we're gonna wave in each second one. We're gonna place inside. So just like I'm doing here now, I'm going to use the maximum amount of stitches that I can so I can actually make a jacket that um, fits me. It would fit a size medium maximum. So this is the last stitch we're going to be using, number 46. Okay. Then we can place this here inside and then the yarn, I don't know if you can see here on the third one, just because velvet's a bit um, thicker. So I'm using from 3 to 46, which is 43 stitches. And I'm gonna use, make just a flat panel with 50, 57 rows. So um, it would probably be the same size because I'm gonna finish it off at the end here. I'm going to add some crochet, 
some crochet rows with the, the other two colors so you should be okay for every size like with 58 maybe if you are small you can make a little less rows around 54 52 or something but yeah let's crank it just do it very slow on your first on your first uh, row just to make sure all the hooks get the yarn make a bit more until the yarn is underneath this part here and then you can start your way back put, and put some pressure here when you're pulling it and also with the velvet make sure the yarn is always down on the base here because if it comes up with the needle you're gonna lose um, with the hook you're gonna lose a um, stitch so I'm just saying because that happens with the velvet a lot quite a lot I don't know if you can see but the stitch didn't go down all the way so all you have to do here is just pull it down with your finger and you should be okay so I'm going to be making my 57 rows here and then I'll be back to tell you how to do how to cast it off I'm gonna cast it off with another yarn so I know which yarn to pull when I finish uh, cr uh, making the crochet on top of it because I'm going to crochet right on top of it when I finish like I did here. I have 50 now and my yarn is finishing so I've already made a knot there and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to chain uh, do it when I get through that knot basically just remove from this last little yarn tension yarn thing and then so you know when you get to the knot so I'm really close to get to that knot see the knots here Here's the knot I have to remove from here and now make it manually because um, put it underneath here underneath here and then that hook's gonna pull that part with the knot and then I can put it back here. So the hook's gonna pull that part there. And that's it. We did it. So that's how you change the that's how you change the color yarn as well. If you want to change it's that same way, you just make a knot, remove from the yarn holder here and then you can change the color this way too so to cast this off all we do is we remove the yarn from here put the yarn in the middle and then we make one row without the yarn make sure all the stitches are in the same position See this one? This one has to go down like this. Otherwise get stuck in the hook after. So that's why you need to be very patient and actually count every stitch and actually look while you're making every single stitch because a lot of them get stuck on the top of the hook. So you have to pull them down all the time. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
remove all these stitches with a different color and that's because we are going to be removing this string after we finish um, this off with crochet. So what I did here, when I cast the stitches on the machine, I used a different color as well. Let's just make, just cast them on with this with a different color, and then start working with the real color you want on the second row. It's quite easy. So this way, here you also know where you're gonna be single crochet on, which is these stitches here. See these loops on top of the um, other color and that's why it's good to make it another color on the first one I didn't do it because I didn't really know you could fully remove this, this uh, last row and now that I realized you can I saw I made the other color so it's easy for you to show for you as well how to crochet on top of it and the other good thing about using another color to, to finish it, to cast the stitches off, is because you can start with the same yarn you finished. Let me see, where is it? It's there. So I can start straight away from here working my crochet. So this one already made crochet all around. Now I'm using a 4.5 millimeters hook. You can use bigger if you want. We're going to start straight here from where we finished. And we're gonna put the hook through this way and make a single crochet. Put the hook through this way and single crochet. See? Hook it and then twist it and then single crochet okay so i'm going to repeat this all the way around the piece but when i get to the sides because it's a, a bit different i'm going to show you how i did on the sides how many stitches i'm making to each row i have so by the end of your row the stitches might get a bit tied so all you do is pull it a bit pull both pull, pull the, the other color yarn a bit up and then make your stitch try not to stitch these together because it might be harder to remove it later and always work on the last loop since sometimes it gets stuck in there on the bottom of the other one make sure you get the last loop See here, let's pull it off a bit and then after that we can just um, single crochet or double crochet underneath and do whatever sort of work we really want with it, which is pretty cool. So now I got here, so nicely closed, I can just pull it off. And you want to open. And it's also gonna gonna stay on this size, not gonna get bigger than that, because otherwise it's just you know it keeps like this. So anyway, finish that side there. We're gonna start working now on the rows. So here you can make one first chain just to turn the work. And then I'm going to be working inside these knots here. So here I'm going to single crochet just because we are making, we're working one stitch in every two, every two rows, because the rows are just small. I'm going to make double crochet, single crochet. So each one of these knots here, I don't know if you can see, but there's little knots. 
it's um, they are in between the rows and that's gonna give us the exact size we need to here sometimes they are hard to see just because this yarn is not very good for the to see but yeah there's like little knots in between the two rows and that's where I'm working Okay, so just repeat this single crochet all the way to the top and on the top we're gonna work the same way we did before we're gonna be making crochet in every single one of these loops and then on the other side as well so go all around it I'm going to start making this um, slip here one of the sides I made the other one already as you can see I have two colors I'll be changing the colors as well so cast on the same thing and I prefer to work with the inside of the row because it comes out quite easier so we're going to start on the second hook second hook this time because we are working every single one of the the hooks and then repeat that same thing we made before I figure that this way is easier if you're gonna crochet on the bottom of it layer this is the best way because then you can control the size you want as well you can stretch it more if you want it shorter and you can pull it more if you want it longer so that's why I work this uh, type of so here what you're gonna do is gonna put underneath here and on the back of this hook to start making the second row and here we're gonna pull this a bit just to make sure the first stitch gets made, see, it's work good. And now I'm just gonna work from ah, and don't forget to put your counter on zero. So now we are on the first row, I have one row less here. So I'll be making now 60. I put on the paper here, that's the, the design I made. So I'm making 55 rows. It's good if you make a drawing like that for yourself as well so you know how many rows you used on each side to actually use the same number on the other side or on the other sleeve as well. So it's 55 rows with this color and 10 rows with the other color. So that's what I'll be doing here. So make 55 rows there and then stop when you are on that white hook and then we are going to change the color to the other color you chose mine's uh, cream and then we are going to make 10 more rows of so that. i have 55 rows here like i said i was going to do and from now on i'm just going to cut this yarn take this yarn off and um, Cut it here, and then we're gonna use this color from now. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna make a knot here, both together. Just now work a few stitches. Work this one. Make sure it goes inside the stitch. Work inside this one, two, right inside the hook, and then inside the 
yarn holder and you should be good to go. I have the plan to drop stitches for some reason, but I, I got to fix them all so it's all good. And now we're gonna make 10 more rows of this. So we're gonna cast off when we have 65 rows made with the white yarn. Middle here and work with all the yarn. One full row until you are back to that same number one. So we're going to use again another color and the way you measure this just make sure you go around with the yarn sort of like this and the reason why we're going to make that is because we're going to make crochet around it after so I'm going to grab this first stitch here so make sure you don't lose that other ones there that's gonna be a disaster grab it here and then grab it grab this one here and it should be okay pull this one here and just pull the yarn leave it a, leave a little tail here to make sure it's not gonna drop and all the rest we do like the same as we did before so remove them all all around it and then we're gonna start making crochet on this part here and then I'm gonna show you how I made that granny square on the bottom so I finished this here and now what I gotta do is stretch this a bit like this make sure it's the same size of the other side and here you have to pull this last this first row and close it a bit because we don't want that open on your on our arms actually it depends of you know how the length uh, the size of your arms when you're gonna so just try it on actually try this on and see on your arm if is if this is open enough otherwise just close it a bit more and then we are going to work single crochets on top of these ones as well. And we're gonna make a row of single crochet here before we finish with this yarn. Just pull it from the end up on the other side, the other side, just to make sure this is. Yeah, just make sure it's the same size, otherwise pull it a bit more and then you sort of know which size you want at the end. Like this. Here in this last row I'm making single crochets, so I'm going to just single crochet like this. Put the hook through, grab the yarn on the back, pull it and, do, and make the stitch. Put the hook through always where you had the stitch so this is this last loops the stitches so every stitch it's gonna be easy to see because we put another collar we cast the stitches off with another collar so that's the stitch you'll be making it's a single crochet you get you get to the first stitch here all you do is a slip stitch in that first stitch so Put your hook through, pull it, pull it again, and then make a chain to finish. And we're gonna fully cut this yarn off, yes, because we're gonna join them together with the... Just make sure you have the right size before I didn't look. And then you can pull this off. And that's what we have now. That's the, the end of your sleeve. And this part here, we're going to join with our green squares after we finish them. Right now, I'm going to make these um, green squares, just to add them 
to the sleeves later and to start them I'm going to work with the same hook I was working before the 4.5 millimeters and I'm going to start with the slip with the magic ring so I make a double loop there pull the second one through the first one and chain and then after this we are going to chain two more and then we're going to double crochet two times so one two one two three chains in between and now three double crochets two three one two three chains and repeat that four times because we are making a square two and one more time one two three chains one two three double crochets and then pull this one here pull this tail to close that hole in the middle and then we are going to double crochet in that third that, that second chain from the beginning just double crochet and then through here we're gonna add the second collar so we can cut this one around this big the tail so we can make a little knot and then with the green collar we are going to make the second row so slip knot just before you start it slip knot here pull it through and pull it tight grab both tails here and make one two three chains and then we are right here on the beginning of this first corner so we are going to make right on top of the tails one two double crochets one, two, three chains and three more double crochets all in that same double crochet we had before so one two three and then two chains in between when there's not a corner and another corner so all the corners are gonna be on top of the chains we had before three double crochets three chains and another three double crochets so repeat this in every single corner we should have four with two chains in between the corners here again same thing double crochet in the third chain here off from the beginning double crochet and then we can cut this yarn with a little tail like that so we can make a knot again and um, we're gonna start with the slip knot again and also here we're gonna be joining the other two, uh, two green squares so pull it from the last loop and then double crochet two, um, three and then two more here one two chain two and then the corners will be the same thing 
three double crochets, three chains, and another three double crochets. But here, so if you, if you are making the first uh, green square, you just repeat the same corners here, and in between you make three in each of these chains, okay, with two in between. To join these green squares, I'm going to face both of them on the wrong, the wrong side with the wrong side. I'm going to chain one for this first corner here, and then single crochet one in the on the other uh, green square corner as well, corner with corner, and then sing and then chain one, and then I'm going to make the second part of the corner here with two, three double crochets, two, three. Chain one here to join again on this next chains from the others. Uh, granny, chain one again, and then three double crochets on the working granny. One, two, three, chain one single crochet in this next two chains, chain one, and then the next corner, so three double crochets there, one, two, three, chain one, single crochet here in this next corner, chain one and three other double crochets here two three and now we're gonna just make two chain chain two because we're not gonna join on the top only on the sides double crochet three in chain chain one and then we're going to join with the other side so again they're both facing the wrong side facing one another and then here single crochet in that next corner on the other side and chain one <coughs> chain one after the single crochet double crochet three in that corner still chain one single crochet in the next two chains on the other side chain one three double crochets in that two chains on my working granny square single crochet in the next two chains chain one and this is the same like we did before double crochet three in that last corner two three chain one single crochet in this last corner on the other side chain one and join it here Two, three double crochets for this last corner and then chain two and join here on that third single uh, chain from the beginning after finishing this all these green squares here they are going to go on the bottom of this leaf at the end of the leaf so this leaf after I finished I made all single crochets all around it the same way we did on the on the other side of the on the main part of this of this jumper before so we are going to join this with this they're pretty similar size so it should be okay 
And the way we are going to do that, so you can stitch, isn't it enough, long enough to stitch them together. And then here what we are going to do is, we are just going to finish this knot there. What I do with this here, I just make, literally make a knot and I just cut it because this won't open just because of this little fluffy uh, just because it's fluffy it doesn't really open so be aware of that it's really hard to open these knots anyway I'm going to go here to join the wrong side of this with the wrong side of that so here so both right sides will be facing each other and you can even do like this put it inside like this place it inside and if you want to put a marker halfway so you know you can do that too so if you want to place a marker here right in the middle of the work on the other side you can do that so you know if you, you know, if you are stitching them and if you're gonna end up at the same place at the end. So I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna really stitch them together. And the way I do that, I grab both uh, end loops of each stitch. So the first loop of this side and the last of the other side. And it's basically chain by um, single crochet by single crochet. So I'll be stitching that all the way around. And then this sleeve will be ready. And then I'm going to show you how to join the main part of this jumper together. It's starting to look really nice. I made a lot of mistakes though. <laughs> There's like so many tails on the back of this because the first, first time I'm making so it's just like a mess on the back but it's okay. It's, it, it will look really nice at the end. So here it is. That's how our sleeve looks like now. As you can see, work really nicely with this part here. And now here, so here on the other side, I already made a um, row with the single crochet like we did in other on the other sides. Okay, and here is the main two parts. I joined one side already, so. I could show you guys how I made so this is the wrong side and I still I still haven't joined the other side because I want to show you how I made it so I put I placed markers where I chose so I, I actually tried on myself just to see how long I wanted uh, this shoulder part be and how long I wanted the neck to be open for as well and here how long I needed for the um, to stitch the sleeve so uh, you need to make sure that this space is big enough it's as big as the sleeve that's it okay and so here as well we for nine stitches we're gonna just add a little Add a little uh, three rows of double crochet on the top. You don't need to do that, but I I prefer to do that because I don't want the neckline so close to my so close to my neck. So I did that. So I placed a marker here just to know I'm going to put that marker actually only on one side. Just to know how many double crochets I need to make. Make around, I made around nine, 
Okay, so it, it's one double crochet in each one of your stitches you had on that needles before. So it's basically, you know, one sing one double crochet to every um to every knitted stitch you have. So I'm going to do this now with this little and then what you do is you start with the slip knot and into this side here because we have the marker but it's around I made around nine stitches. We're gonna start right on that corner there. Pull it and pull again to make a slip knot there and then chain two and then we are going to double crochet in each stitch all the way to where the marker is or when you have nine well nine I'm making nine you make you know and as much as you think you should it is a bit hard to see with this yarn so if you prefer to work this first time because a beautiful jumper work the first time on another wool yarn or something like that because you can see much better the stitches so two four six eight nine and then you just compare to the other side when you are on the second side so I think I need one more here so I'm going to after the marker always make sure you compare one side to the other that's here just to make sure you have the same number same size and here I'm going to make all the way back one double crochet to each double crochet and then one more time and then I'm going to join with the other side the same number of stitches from the other side just um, you can either either stitch I think I think I did stitch yet yeah. so you're gonna sew it like with your tapestry needle like we did before and then I'll come back and show you how to add how to stitch the the last sleeve on this side so finish this last row and then cut a long enough yarn that you can stitch all the sleeve that's long enough to stitch the sleeve so we don't have to have one more. So from here, just cut, cut a piece long enough for around a meter, so you can sew it to the and other side. Place both sides like this, and that's where you finished. So I'm stitching this on both wrong sides, so both right sides facing each other we're going to start here going to 
put this leaf there if you want to place a marker right where the you know where, right where the marker is right in the middle so yeah make sure you just put them together in a way that sits flat so what I'm doing is just really stitching from in each stitch in the middle here with my needle sewing this um, last bit of the group of those leaves and I realized I had to actually stitch this before so what I'm doing is just grabbing another string of the same color I'm going to remove the needle from the other side before I finish it so I didn't finish the other side I'm just going to join this the bottom part of my panel and just make a knot here to start so what I'm doing now I'm drawing the bottom part of my panels so I'm joining the bottom so I can finish with the sleeve and just I'm going to stitch that same way all the way to where my marker is so if you didn't do that yet just make this before you know stitch the end of your panels together and then I'm going to compare to the other sides see if they, they are similar yeah see they're both at the same place you don't want different sleeves after different sizes you want the same size on both sides so I'm going to finish here just wave this around cut it off and then we can keep going with this sleeve or if it's really well but I want it to be longer so I'm going to start here with the slip knot and in these chains here I'm going to work a few more rows with double crochet stitches so chain two here double crochet here in this next stitch and then skip one here double crochet again chain one and double crochet one in that same stitch skip one and on that next one yeah double crochet one chain another double crochet in that same stitch and then skip one here double crochet here one chain one double crochet here so repeat this all the way around the bottom part of this of this jumper how they call it in Australia it's a jumper so that's how it is and then I'm going to make one more of this color and then I'm going to make a few of this color as well because I like that oh, color. The next row all you're gonna do is you're gonna make this V here as you can see there's a V you're gonna make the V on top another V on top of it so double crochet chain double crochet and then go to the next one double crochet chain double crochet and then so you're going to be working always in this chain here that's in between both double crochets with one double crochet one chain and one double crochet okay so just repeat a few times until you think you have the height desired and then i'm gonna we're going to talk about 
a few things that went wrong that I will do differently. So before you do it, just watch this part so you know how and you don't make the same mistakes that I did, okay? So this is how our top looks like. I'm gonna make a few photos and then share as well because the space is not enough, but that's how it looks like at the end. So a few things I would change and make differently. First thing is I made the last row here the last row of the panel when I made the crochet I made it a bit too tight so I can still wear it uh, it fits on me nicely but I can feel it's a bit too tight here not here in these two rows but here so I, I would use a bigger hook I bought a bigger hook now it's a 5.75 inch uh, millimeters hook and that would work better here so be aware of that make the stitches very loose at the end otherwise you feel it's a bit tight um, one more thing i would probably make the sleeves i think they are a bit too big for a medium size in this material anyway if you if you are using just normal wool eight ply it's fine because I made another one as well and it's the right size for me but definitely if you're making a smaller size just work on the um, panel mold and make less stitches okay so around 40 stitches 38 you have to try on yourself and see what it works so you always need to make a little sample before you start the project but this can be easily done with wool as well. I just think you would have to, you know, see the number of stitches and everything. It wouldn't be exactly the same. Another thing is I would make these sleeves a little shorter. Probably around a few fingers less. Like maybe, you know, just five rows less. It's a bit too long, but I can still wear it. It's nice. That's another thing that I would make differently. The height of the top is nice. It fits me really well. So if you are a large, I would probably, you know, you have to make two panels and make a few of these rows we made with double crochet here on the top, on the side here, so it fits you on the width. Okay, um, other than that, for a small, probably less stitches on the panels, I'll probably use even maybe 10, 10 like 8 stitches, 6 stitches left, less, you know, for the size. And I'll be making the pattern as well. I'll be sharing the pattern on my Etsy and on the description below as well. If you wanna help me buy, uh, if you wanna help me uh, to buy the yarn, because I don't have a yarn sponsor yet, you can just click on that little heart with the thanks uh, on the bottom of this video and help me buy the yarn. That helps me a lot too. And my pattern will be available on Etsy. So leave me a comment if you already have the machine. If you use a machine, I'm gonna ask also leave on the description below a link for where you can buy this machine. This machine is around 50 US dollars, so it's a really good price. And I use the 48 stitches one if you want to make a jumper and top big tops for winter you need the bigger you can get because you need many needles to make the size big enough for you otherwise you have to finish with a lot of crochet like i did here just to make it wider okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i see you next week